All right, we're back at the Formula V, or in the Formula V, at Sakuba, but it's the uh, short configuration this time. Something a little bit different. Um, so a little bit different than we've seen on the channel. I think I've done this before in the Formula V, early on maybe when it came out, but uh, not since I started recording, so it'll be something a little bit different. I've done uh, the regular uh, full configuration here. Uh, had some good races. Always love uh, Sakuba. But uh, as you'll see here, after we get through this little corner here, uh, things get a little bit weird because you go all the way out here before you cut back on through. And suddenly you're all the way over on this part of the track. And uh, I think that makes sense uh, in the Formula V given. Uh, Given how underpowered this thing is, I don't think you need that big, long straightaway. But it is a weird, <laughs> a weird configuration. Pretty strange. Um, that long corner seems to give people some issues. Um, I think I kind of got it figured out. Um, it seems like I usually get some good time through there, uh, comparatively. So maybe I can use it to my advantage. But uh, that will remain to be seen. Kind of just got to roll it through and try to get a good run off. Because um, even though the straightaway is cut down, you're still going to want uh, some momentum heading through here. But, uh, hey, we'll set an all-time best. How about that? Not sure how good it is. 48? Sure. Hopefully that time holds up because that's all we're getting. I tried to push it harder that time, make up, uh, you know, break, uh, break a little harder. Was hoping that the uh, tires were a little warmer so it could hold on, but not quite. We ended up spinning it, but uh, the only reason I put I pushed it that much is because I felt like that was in a pretty okay lap to start with. So uh, it was a measured uh, risk and uh, didn't pay up for us this time. But I like that lap I had, 48.9. Um, best of the practice session. Uh, even better than the practice session I had before, so. This is me not paying attention and hitting the curb. So we'll get out in front a little bit. This corner is kind of scary on cold tires. I mean, you saw me spin it a second ago. So we'll have to uh, be careful heading in there. I mean, it wouldn't be as scary if there weren't people trying to go as fast as they can right behind you as well, but... That's the balance. You gotta not get hit from behind, but also... You gotta also, uh, you know, not spin it. So that's the trade-off. Here I kind of do a little bit of a lift off mid to uh, early part of the corner to help make sure it makes it all the way around because you can't quite flat foot it, but you can get kind of close. But uh, even if you can, I think it kind of helps to have the, uh, keep it a little closer on the inside. Here you can shift a second. I don't know if it's faster, but it definitely is more dangerous, so I think it's better to stay in third. I think in certain situations it might help to go into second, but you're always taking a risk that uh, you do it a little too soon and get it uh, sideways, so um, I think uh, whatever tiny bit of reward it might be, uh, might be there to be had from shifting to second there is not worth the risk that you take, so you'll be finding me taking that corner in third. And uh, pretty much the whole thing's in third. Um, except for uh, sometimes that straight away you go fast enough that you want to hit fourth, but even then it's kind of borderline sometimes. Definitely with the draft though, once you get into the draft, you'll be wanting to uh, 
hit fourth but uh, I'll demonstrate here because you're going through this corner kind of like uh, shaving off some speed so keeping it in third is kind of useful here's generally where I would normally shift to fourth but it's not uh, not too bad in fact it kind of helps <laughs> it kind of helps get it uh, around the corner a little better without having to worry about shifting through there I just went a little hard so I uh, got it a little loose there or uh, oversteer for the road racers out there our uh, second place is holding up pretty well we got the number four has got a great lap number one's right behind us they got a close lap and uh, kinda just slowly tapers off the times are all pretty decently close looks like we got 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So all pretty close. And uh, it looks like a lot of people have qualified already. We might actually get everyone qualified here and get to go a little earlier. We'll see about that. Cutting a little bit close there. I don't know what is that thing. It's like the edge of the, like the wall there, but it looks like a hay bale or something. I can never look directly at it because I'm busy focusing on where my car is positioned. It's like a hay bale or something. <laughs> I will say it's. You can definitely tell that's not way the the way the course was designed. Because it it just it feels like you're driving somewhere you're not supposed to. <laughs> So uh, you could shift into second there and you gain a little bit of time you see but then uh, you shift and then there goes your momentum so it's uh, it's pretty close I still don't know what that is it looks like wood <laughs> it looks like a wood block maybe I'll park next time if we still have time 26 seconds I don't think we're gonna get back there in time for it but uh, just wasting time before this thing starts This, uh, the track always kind of looked like a, I don't know, like a staple remover or something, Sakuba. Interesting shape, but a uh, fun track. I've always liked it. It's cool that it's uh, free on here. And uh, we're going to get kicked out here in a moment. Yep. Unfortunately, we gave ourselves that loss of control, but uh, first lap was good. So we got our uh, P2 to start. 11 people in here. Gonna make sure, doing my best to not spin it. I say that before every Formula V race, and I still spin it about a third of the time. So, what what's it gonna be here today? Someone's trying to blow their motor. I guess. I don't know. Gotta wanna start right there. Get in the field of pedal. Don't wanna because you can't spin the tires in these things. So you want to be careful on the starts, not just in the corner, but uh, you know when you hit the gas pedal, first thing. <sighs> Got the nervies, the nervouses, the several nervouses. Try to manage it. Some nice colors on that guy's car. Got the bullet bill behind us. Okay, he got a better start. We'll hold our inside here. Careful not to hurt anybody. Alright. Hopefully this guy doesn't dive it in on us. I saw him back there. Lurking. But we're clean so far. Careful turning the wheel so much around that corner. 
on cold tires. Take it easy. Shift to fourth because we got some draft. All right. Lap one complete. Pretty good turn there. That guy goes off just a tiny bit. Ease it in here because we don't want to run into anybody. Get a good run off. All right, feels good. Oh, there's a wreck behind us. I saw a bunch of smoke. Bunch of smoke. Make sure it gets turned. Okay. Looks like we're getting some space behind us. Ease up on that throttle to make sure it turns properly. Go ahead, shift a little early. All right, we're keeping up just fine. Brake uh, hard but steady. Wipe the visor off a bit. Someone done goofed. I get it, man. Been there. We all done goof once in a while. Oh, that's cool. They're understanding. It's always real nice when you got understanding people because it's obviously very frustrating. Ooh, almost hit the mystery object. Oh no, the leader. Oh no, the second place. Oh no, me. Oh my god. Whoa, okay, well. Here we are. Feeling the breeze in my face. Less smoke up on my visor. That's interesting. Huh. Well, I think the leader probably could have not done that. So that stinks for the guy that was in second. It stinks less for the guy who's in first now. But I don't want to talk about that because that makes me a little nervous. Gives me a little bit of those nervies again. Kind of took that a little shallow, but uh, looks like I gained some time behind me. I feel like I do take that corner pretty well usually um, compared to other guys, so that's cool. Kind of underdrove that a little bit, but who cares? We're fine. There's no pressure at all. Totally. Oh god, he's coming. He took that so much better than I did. Got a little bit more to run off, but uh, there's also going to be the draft. So we got to dodge the draft. Um, they're going to try to send us to a foreign country, so we got to avoid that if we want to stay here in this uh, position. There's also the matter of the draft. Uh, those guys behind are going to be catching up due to less air resistance. So. We're gonna have to be aware that uh, even if we uh, do well to hit our marks, they might still be able to catch us pretty good. And uh, we're gonna have to hold on for quite a while because it's still early in the race. So let's uh, let's be smooth. Yeah, I hit that a little bit better. That felt pretty good. No mistakes. And uh, maybe we can bring this number five Torpedo. Round of victory lane. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, being patient and getting back into the throttle there is pretty good. Cause you gotta make sure the thing turns before you worry about getting that run off. As important as it is. We're gonna do a fair number of laps here because it is a pretty quick lap. So by the end of this thing, we'll have a, a good number of laps done. Uh, I gotta remember that uh, as the tires are warming, I can push a little bit harder. Still can't go over that edge, but the edge has been pushed away from us just a little bit, a little farther away. So 
So we've got to keep that in mind if we want to keep uh, keep ourselves up here. We got to match the pace that the car and track is willing to give us. You know, reach those new limits. This is always a little bit tricky in the V because uh, you're so close to the ground, it becomes a bit of a blind corner. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Can't see the apex until you kind of get to the top of the hill. You can use the brake to turn a little bit, but you got to be careful because that is a good way to get spun out too. Uh, looks like they're starting to fight a little bit behind us. That uh, is both good and bad news. Uh, the good news is they're going to lose some time as they worry about doing a lap. The bad news is. Uh, that could mean that the guy that is passing the guy that was in second, the guy who was in third, could be faster, and that means they could be reaching us before too long. So if they get passed cleanly, uh, we might uh, have to struggle to keep this spot. So that's something to think about too. Do I? Uh, yeah, thank you, crew chief. You're now in the lead. Just now. Just now got the lead. Thank you. So. What was I saying? I was saying something that didn't matter, but that's all I ever say, so I want to say it anyway. Um, well, it's gone. Whatever I was going to say is gone. So let's say this instead. Oh, wait, I remember now. Haha. -ha. I'm good at commentary. Uh, we have four and a half minutes left. Um question is, do I want to keep checking on that, or is it going to be better for me if I uh, don't let the pressure get to me just by uh, zenning out and not thinking about how much time's left? Because uh, really, I don't think that's uh, that should change how I drive, whether that's consciously or subconsciously. It's all about uh, you know hitting these laps. You know, ideally, I'm hitting fast laps no matter what I'm doing, and I shouldn't push too much in a way that would uh, cause danger to myself or others so um, I mean if you think about it I should uh, you know not worry about that just get some laps done have some fun here at Sakuba track I like thank you thank you thank you thank you he says or maybe it's tie 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 as in the little you know beanie babies uh, he might be a big fan of the beanie babies um, I heard they're uh, oh big fan I hear they uh, definitely accrue in value if you have the good limited edition ones. Go ahead and check your attic, see if you have any worth a lot of money. We are on lap 11 at the moment. Thinking about all the other things except for the fact I'm in first. Don't hit mysterious block of material. I checked the time. It's at three minutes. So that would tell me we've probably got about four laps to go? Something like that. Something like that. Thankfully the draft has not caught up to us. We have fled to Japan to race in Sakuba so they cannot draft us into the war. And uh, thankfully the uh, aerodynamics of the car behind us have not allowed them to catch up. So, all good news. Don't let the fatigue of the race get me. All right, might have taken that a bit shallow, I'm not sure. But uh, feeling a little bit more comfortable now. Because we got some space. Excuse me. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Lap time Take the laps hard, but uh, don't overdrive it. I thought I did okay there, but I guess I pushed uh, wide a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, get uh, get it turns. I think they're pushing pretty hard, trying to catch me. But uh, they're going to have to really get on it if they want to make up that time. i got to earn it. And uh, all i got to do is fight defensively. You know what they say. 
Why is there so much war talk to say? I was gonna say like, oh, you know, they say it's easier to fight a defensive war. And I'm like, why am I referencing war all that much? I don't know. Uh, can't just uh, dive into my brain and find out why that's happening. I do know that there's uh, pressure in my brain. <laughs> that sounds like a very serious mental condition. Um, I'm trying to say that I'm feeling the uh, pressure of P1. But I think we could do it. They're still dealing with each other back there. So that ended up being good for us. I don't think. I think uh, the six has been stuck behind the seven this whole time. Um, I don't think uh, the six has been able to get past them. And that is the white flag. So I just gotta not mess it up one more time. Just gotta not mess it up a singular more time. Am I up to that task? Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. Stayed in third the whole race. I think that was a good decision on that corner. I don't know what happened to the, the original leader early on. They, uh, had trouble out of this corner. Oh, I do remember now. They, uh, I think they got their left sides in the grass and they kind of just swerved around. Okay. I couldn't remember how he got sideways. Oops. I took that weird. I made the last turn interesting, but we did it! Yo! Alright. I don't know what that yelp was. <laughs> Yay! I'd say good race, but uh, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> like the one that wins and is like, hey, good race, guys. Uh, especially because the two <laughs> leaders that were ahead of me got taken out. And so to them, they're probably really mad, and hearing good race right now would probably not be something they really necessarily want to hear, because that wasn't very good from their perspective. So, um, it was a good race uh, for the guys that were chasing me. It was fun holding them off. Um, it's exciting. I don't think people normally do burnouts in road racing. I actually don't know. We're going to do it anyway. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. No, we're not. I don't think you can do burnouts. We tried. I've never tried in a Formula B. If I do this. <laughs> it crips too much. We do this. Wee. Nope, not enough power. Okay. Uh, a Formula V win is not something to celebrate, is what I learned today. Um, according to the Formula V itself. But that's a win. And uh, we were the number five, too. So uh, that's awesome. Uh, finished ahead of some guys. Uh, we'll take a look at what happened out there. Me, <laughs> me trying to do my burnouts. My Formula V burnouts. I tried. I, I hit the clutch in. <laughs> I tried to get the tire spin. Funny, they're, uh, they're plenty easy to spin on cold tires, but once the tires warmed up, there's me trying to do it. And <laughs> yeah, especially here with the clutch pushed in. I got it at first, and I was like, nope, you got grip now. I tried, alright. I tried. Uh, let's see what happened out there other than uh, that uh, crazy deal between first and second place. So, lap one, cold tires. Um... Uh, what are we seeing here? Nothing. We're seeing nothing. Um, is someone gonna spin it? No? Uh-oh, it looks like we're seeing that corner every time. Maybe. We might have to skip a bunch of those. Uh, we got a tap from behind. That's unfortunate. Two just went uh, for the entry a little harder. Or it looks like they really had more mid-corner speed. This is where the problem arose. And uh, that looks like it might even be uh, some net code helping, because uh, I don't think they quite touched. It was really close, and they might have touched them anyway, but unfortunate for the 11. It looks like they were the only one who suffered from that, except for some guys losing pace in the back. Just saw that. Oh, I think I had my... Oops. <laughs> my mic was on mute. I wonder if they said good race. Um, good race. 
I didn't. <laughs> Oops. I hope I, they don't think I'm rude. Um, anyway. Incidents is what we're doing at the moment. And that uh, red, blue, and green takes out a guy. Another instance of just getting in there a little faster. Um, yeah, this, uh, what are those, ice cream cones? What am I looking at here? Weird diamond ice cream cones? It's kind of far away. Oh no, they're just like fun little diamonds. Uh, they just got, uh, they had no, uh, they had some people in front of them, so they took it as fast as I think they safely could, but the guy behind uh, was not uh, willing to give them that extra room. Here is the thing that won us the race. Um, we might have had a shot at him later if we caught up. I mean, we were, we were uh, staying pace, and I think we could have had a fight for it, but, uh, well, this sealed the deal. So, he tries to catch it after he pushes too hard and gets into the grass. So, here I thought he was going to save it. I thought he was going to be able to just, like, kind of smooth it out and take uh, this path before getting back on. But uh, it looks like he kind of overcorrects a little bit, and I uh, starts sliding right here. And I think once you're at this point, uh, he was in bad shape. He could have held the brakes, but he didn't. <laughs> he did, but too late. Holds the brakes starting right about there. And uh, unfortunately for the number one... Uh-oh. <laughs> unfortunately for me, I didn't wreck myself trying to avoid it. I see him going like that, and I'm like, well, I guess I'd better be on the inside then, if that's about to happen. And, uh, get my tires. That was really close to me being in trouble town. But thankfully I, uh, caught it. I was able to still uh, keep my spot up front. Well, now up front. And uh, not wreck it myself trying to avoid it. So... That's how that happened. I'm sure you remember. You were there. Unless you skipped to the incidents, which, you know, more power to you. Uh, this guy chasing me. Don't think anything happened there. Oh, you know what I should have done for my uh, victory lap is taken the full course. That'd be kind of funny. Is it blocked off? It might be blocked off. No, I think you can go over there. No cones will stop me from taking full Sakuba. Yeah, this guy looks like he's pushing real hard, trying to get to me. I, he went in there pretty hard. Yeah, he did his best. Yeah, just seeing a lot of nothing. I think that maybe the bumps are uh, causing stuff. I keep thinking they're going to hit uh, that wall of indeterminate material. Do we need to? We need to figure this out once and for all. What is that thing? What are you? Reveal yourself to me. Oh, excuse me. I always get the hiccups when I'm recording. I'm sorry, this is probably... <laughs> probably no one cares except for me. What is this? Is that stone? No, it's like a, it's like a sandbag kind of thing. So it, people don't hit this wall. Okay, so it's like a... It's a soft material of some sort. Maybe like a fabric kind of thing, like covering sand. Mm-hmm. So, it's like a safety barrier. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So, back to this. Is anything actually going to happen out here? Or are we just going to see them take this part of the course repeatedly? Got any more spins? I think the tires are pretty warm by now. Uh, on lap six. Got the chase going on here. Trying to catch my Chewy.com pet mobile. Maybe that's what that thing is filled with. Like we determined it's like some sort of soft thing. Maybe it's filled with like pet food. Kibbles and bits. Ooh, they're fighting pretty hard for second too. Looked like that uh, guy in third caught him a little bit on that uh, corner. Still not seeing anything too noteworthy. Just taking the corner pretty normally. Normal stuff. 
stuff. Skipping ahead. Does it catch him at all through this corner? No, Seven's got it figured out. No, yeah, I think uh, we don't need to see too much more of this corner. Um, although I will check out uh, how these guys are doing, because that's interesting. So they were a very similar uh, pace, it looked like. And uh, we're coming up on the end of this thing. These guys still right next to each other. But I believe that's going to be pretty much it um, coming up here. Uh, seven almost looked like they got loose on entry, but they're fine. Because all we're seeing is a bunch of nothing. Oh, what's this? This is interesting. A blink out. And? Nothing. Nothing else. Nothing else. Don't need to see that corner. Oh, they're really close this time. This is coming up. Maybe white flag. He's pushing as hard as he can. Oh, is he going to make a pass for second? Oh, I'm not going to reveal who came in second until after this corner. But I think it's pretty obvious the seven. Yeah, so seven got it. Um, I believe that was the final lap. Yes, it looks like, uh, right? Yeah, because now they're just messing around. <laughs> That's that. So, yeah, it's, it's done. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. We got the win. All right, started P2, got a little bit of luck. Um, as those two guys ran into each other. Uh, but had to beat some fast guys to do it. You know, we had the 1, 2, and 3, and 4 faster or uh, higher I rating than us. So we uh, were able to pull it off, and I feel pretty good about it. Love Sakuba. My very first road win came here in a Mazda. So uh, it's cool to come out here to uh, Sakuba Short and uh, get the victory. All right. Hope you enjoyed watching it at uh, Sakuba Short, and I'll see you next time.